joining me on a session at Lacovalum in Romania and what an incredible session I've had. As you can see, I'm covered in slime. I'm probably looking a bit tired and there's a good reason for that. I've caught an awful lot of fish, some really, really big ones as well. It has been a brilliant trip and I just want to talk about the bait that I've used and how I've approached this session. Now, the first thing to remember is I've never been here before and never seen it before. So I've had to come in very, very cold, very blind. There's two main baits that I bring at this time of year. One of them is an all time favorite and it's this one. This is dynamite sauce. Now carp all over the world love dynamite sauce for a number of reasons. It tastes nice, it smells nice, it looks nice, it's very attractive and it's also very visual. And visual is a point I'll come back to a little bit later. But if you're unsure what bait to use anywhere, go with the sauce, it's an absolute winner. The other one which is very good is complex tea, which is this one here. Now this is a brown bait rather than a red bait and it offers a slightly different option. There's a bit more meat, a bit more smell in this one. This was designed by Terry Hearn back in England and it's a very soft but very attractive bait as well and a mix of the two works well almost anywhere you go. The other thing that you'll see is they're two different sizes and I like to use different size baits. These are 12 mils, these are 15 mils, you can get 18s, you can also get 20s as well. And putting a mix of bait in the swim of different sizes and different colours really gets those fish picking around. Hook baits we'll come to in a minute, but the key is how do we start? Well here it's springtime. The weather today it's a little bit cloudy, it's a little bit colder. Two days ago when I arrived it was bright sun and there wasn't any wind. So conditions have been really good for me but I wanted to start the swim as quickly as possible without killing it. And for that I used a little bit of particle bait, some hemp and also some mixed particles. Just one pot of each, that's all you need. Mix them up, put them into a bucket, give it a good stir around, some boilie in there as well and then a few scoops onto your spot, lots and lots of attraction. Now the small fish in the lake, the carassio and the smaller carp will love to eat the hemp and the particles. The bigger fish will like it too and they'll come in and see what's going on. So I start off with these two, but then I fade them out and start just using boilies, building up every time I've had a bite just to put a few more in. A couple of three handfuls, maybe 50 to 100 baits every time I get a bite. And if I was to say I've been fishing not quite for 36 hours and I've now had 14 fish, that shows you the effectiveness of the bait. Hook baits wise, there's a lot to think about. One of the favorite ones out here are these the complex tea wafters. Now they're light, they sit on the bottom beautifully and they're small barrels and they mix in with the better particles really well. With the small fish around we have to think about whether or not we need a hardened hook bait and these will last the whole night, 48 hours in fact, without any problem with small fish trying to attack them. They're still the same smell and taste as the main baits but they last a lot longer. But the key for me is visual baits. So I want something in this water that stands out, that's something that looks bright. And we all know how effective the high-vis pop-ups and dumbbells are. The fluoros, pineapple and banana, absolute winner flavor anywhere. But you may have seen these on the shelves. They're a new bait by Dynamite and they do lots of different things. For a start, they have a flavor combination in them to give them three different types of attraction so they really stand out. The next thing is the colors. The yellow is slightly different. It's a little bit like sweet corn and carp love this color. But the key one for me here today and the one that's caught most fish out here is this one. This is the pink one. Now it is a brilliant flavor anywhere in the world, but in slightly colored water like this, it really stands out. I fish it as a snowman with a 15 millimeter straightforward out of the bag sauce boilie one of these by the side of it threaded onto a German rig. Handful of bait over the top and then another key, crush down a few sauce boilies, put them in a small PVA bag, attach that to the hook and put it over the baited area. And that my friends, wherever you go, but particularly here, is an absolute winner. <laughs> 